Hello guys, welcome to another video. I hope everyone is doing very well. In today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is actually passing over to Nora Conrad, who I've been following for quite a while now on YouTube, who does similar videos to myself about to-do list apps and Evernote and note-taking apps and all of those resources in between. So I thought I'd pass over to Nora to speak a little bit about how she sets up her Evernote I really like it when um, I sort of meet other people that are really liking to hone in on their Evernote skills. Um, and Nora has a really good setup, so I wanted to uh, bring Nora in to share how she uses it. Um, just before we move on, uh, if you'd like to subscribe to her YouTube channel, I will include it in the link in the description. And also my YouTube channel too, if you're brand new, uh, it'd be great to have you over here. Uh, videos aren't regularly like this, um, I'm even holding cam camera today, uh, but I will be putting out my regular content uh, very soon, so you'll enjoy all of the lovely videos, I'm sure. Anyway guys, uh, let's pass over to Nora, I uh, appreciate Nora for coming on, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, her tips and tricks for setting up an Evernote account. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Hey everyone, my name is Nora Conrad. I'm a productivity expert and a virtual assistant for small business owners. I'm at the tail end of a cold here, so my voice is not at its full speed, um, so bear with me on that. But today I'm going to show you how I use Evernote. I think everyone uses Evernote a little bit differently. It's so customizable that it's very personal how everyone uses it. Personally, in my business, I use it more for research than anything else. Um, so I am going to walk you through kind of how I do just some basic research and how I input all of that information into Evernote and then how I organize my system so that when that research comes in handy, I actually have an easy way of finding all of that information that I have collected over the weeks. So I'll give you an inside look on kind of my process of using it and how I then organize that. Let's just jump right in. All right, so this is my Evernote notebook. Um, you can see that when I first open up Evernote, there's actually nothing in here. This is very intentional and it's part of my system. So I'll expand this out here so you can see what's going on. Basically, the notebook that we are in now is called the Inbox, and this is my default notebook. So anytime I save any new notes, create a new note, um, or save a tag from Chrome, this is where it falls into. So this is kind of my workspace. This is where I add tags and build off of things. I do have other notebooks here. These are more for um, long-term storage. So I have home, development, Nora Conrad, which is my business, resources, MacPack, which is my day job, and storage. Now, I don't really use notebooks. Um, I have this whole system laid out, but I don't this is more just for storage. What I actually use to find things and to use and access different notes is my tags. These are much more versatile. For example, um, these are each notebooks and each notebook can be added into a stack, but that's it. That's kind of the hierarchy that you're limited to. In tags, you can build whatever kind of hi hierarchy you want and really break that down into tiny little levels. So here's my first level. Here's my second level, here's a third level, or let's go here, third level, and then here's my fourth level. So I can have multiple levels of tags here, which makes it much easier for me to get specific about where things are and how I organize them. I have six main tags. Um, these are all kind of coordinating to my notebooks. And then in each tag, I have main ideas. For example, in my business tag, I have administrative coaching content and workflows. And within each of those, I have further kind of breakdowns of each topic. So this is how I stay organized. And one of the main things I love about this is that if I have a note that is a draft or a brainstorm for a new blog post, but it also maybe has to do with some sort of resource, like maybe I can come back to it later for reference for something. I can tag it in both of these. So I'll be able to kind of file notes away into two different areas. Or another example is that if I have something personal, like maybe some tax documents, um, those tax documents are personal because they have to do with my personal information, but it might also fall under administrative and accounts because or financials, because it's part of my business taxes. 
So being able to label things in multiple tags is one of the main reasons that I use tags over notebooks. And like I said, I do store the notes in notebooks once I have kind of a long-term storage plan. If it doesn't fit into one of these five notebooks, I just add it into storage. Um, I even have some notebooks stored in trash that, you know, maybe aren't um, super important, but I still just kind of have them in here just for the heck of it. I know I should really clean this out, but I haven't yet. So that just goes to show you that you can kind of use this however you want. You don't have to only be stuck with using notebooks or tags. You can really use both. So I am going to minimize this here and we're going to create a new note so that I can show you kind of a basic outline of how I do research here. So if I was researching topic clusters, for example, I found this article on co the CoSchedule blog that I want to save. Um, so I'm going to go into my little Evernote clipper here and click on that. And I can save this as a bookmark, article, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just save it as a bookmark and I'll save it into my inbox and just hit save there. And then I will let this refresh and you can see that it pops up right here. So I can just copy and paste this or I can merge my notes together. Either way, um, personally, I think it looks a little nicer when they're merged. So I'm just going to merge those together. Um, then what you can also do is awesome stuff like copying and pasting in tables. So for example, if I wanted to add this marketing calendar template into here, I can just copy and paste it right in. It's super easy and it's super flexible with how you can use all of these notes. Then I can open up my calendar here. I have it on my second screen. You guys can't see it, but I can. Um, and I can, you know, start planning out content and start brainstorming blog posts and things like that and just have it all be in one place in Evernote. Um, then what I do is once I kind of have, you know, my brainstorm here and all of my word vomit kind of on this page, I will add the tags that I need to add to make this relevant in my search later on. Now I have most of my tags memorized. Um, if for whatever reason, you know, maybe you get all of your tags set up and you don't know them off of the top of your head, that's totally fine. What you can do is open up this little sidebar here. I just like to keep mine closed to kind of keep things looking clean. Um, but let's say that this is a brainstorm and also it's a reference for me later on. I can look and see, you know, what tags will kind of fit these. And then as I start to type, it will pull up relevant tags um, close to what I was searching for. And once I click off of those, um, they will start to save or you can just click on the sync button to quickly sync it. And this is relating to my site. So I'll just quickly drop it into my Nora Conrad little area here and now when I open up my brainstorm tag you can see the note and when I open up my reference tag you can see the note. So this is all a really great way to just kind of start to organize all of your different ideas however you use Evernote. You know if you use it as a daily journal, if you use it to plan your business, maybe you use it to work with a team, it doesn't really matter um, what you use Evernote for. You need to have a really well-organized system and one that you will use consistently. If you're not using it consistently, then there's no real point in having it organized. Um, you have to have it be simple enough that you can remember it and that someone who maybe needs to jump in could figure it out without too much work. It needs to be flexible so that as you add new processes, maybe you start to use Evernote for school as well as work or vice versa. It needs to be flexible where you can add new content and new ideas into your current system and have it be able to withstand that change. So this system has worked really well for me. I've changed the name of my tags here and there. I've added a lot of tags as you can see um, just from my tag like library here. I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, I've been using Evernote for, gosh, maybe three, four years now, maybe even longer than that. I can't even remember. But the point is, is that all of this has held up. The system has worked through all of that because I kept it organized and because I have kept a consistent system. 
So obviously I prefer tags over notebooks, but I did want to show one quick thing that is very helpful um, when you are using Evernote in this way, and that is using notebooks kind of as a filing system. So I have those six notebooks there, and the reason why I do that is because if I was looking up you know, some sort of resource, I save a lot of free like PDFs and blog posts and courses in here, but I was looking for one about blogging, and I know that I saved it somewhere, but I can't remember exactly where it was. I have 183 notes about blogging. So what I can do is add the search option of searching in a specific notebook. And instead of, you know, searching through my own stuff, I want to search for a resource that I saved. So I can add that to the search bar here. And clearly I save way too much about blogging. There's still 117 notes, but that does narrow down my search. So having multiple notebooks that kind of help you sort it further is a really great way to simplify that search and make it a little easier to find what you need. Same thing for me if I was searching for something in my day job, but my day job actually has a lot of overlap with the kinds of things that I'm saving for my business. So being able to search specifically in my notebook for my day job allows me to find things much quicker without having to, you know, click on the notebook and scroll through everything. So that's a good tip if you are interested in using this tag system. It's really, really helpful. But like I said, use notebooks too. Evernote was built in a way for you to use tags and notebooks together. So make sure that you are utilizing both to get kind of the full experience and get the most out of how you're using Evernote. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope that that was a little helpful just to see how someone else uses Evernote because it is so versatile and so different for everybody's uses. So let me know what you thought down below and thank you for having me on this channel. Thank you to Francesco for hosting me. And if you guys are into Evernote, he obviously has a ton of videos on Evernote, so check those out. And he's also going to be doing a video on my channel, so check that out down below and take a peek at some of my other videos. Let me know if you enjoy them. I would love to see you guys over there. Have an awesome day. I'll see you all later.